Hey everyone, welcome back. I am continuing my top five series and today I am sharing my top five favorite highlighters. I will say I don't have a whole lot compared to other people. I probably have around 15 and a handful of those were like limited edition. So I, I really don't have like a ton. I don't buy a whole lot of highlighters. It's probably the makeup category that I have the least of, but I still like highlight. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I just don't buy them a whole lot. So there is that. What I look for in a highlighter is just something that is buildable, blends into the skin, doesn't have any like chunky glitter particles, is not a dry formula, but just very um, soft and creamy and just gives you that nice lit from within glow. Or sometimes when I'm feeling extra, I want that extra like bam kind of factor. And as far as shade ranges go, I really like any shade of highlighter as long as it fits my skin tone. So it could be like an icy pink, it could be a champagne, it could be a soft gold, a rose gold. It really just depends on what I'm doing with the eyes and the cheek color. I do prefer a lot of monochromatic looks. I usually tie like the eyes and the cheeks together. The, the lip will vary sometimes. Most of the time it's a nude, as you guys know, but um, I really don't have a preference as far as like color shade goes, as long as it doesn't look crazy on me. Like if it's too deep bronze, well, obviously I'm not going to wear that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I am going to share my top five in order of least expensive or the most affordable to the most expensive. All right. So the first one we're going to get started with, I discovered in December of 2019 and I loved it so much that I bought one for my daughter as part of her stocking stuffer. She loves her highlight. I mean, the girl probably has three to four times as many highlighters as I do. So it is from ColourPop and it is in the shade Guilty Pleasure. This is the Super Shock Cheek. And I have not had any issues with the ColourPop, like these kind of um, eyeshadows or blushes, the bronzer that my friend gave me, um, the highlighter that I have, they don't dry out. They are a beautiful, beautiful formula. This shade in Guilty Pleasure is described as a light icy peach. And as you can tell, I have definitely hit pan. I love it so, so much. The formula is just so crazy blendable and creamy and beautiful. It is a gorgeous formula and it just glides onto the cheek. It is it's just beautiful. So this is the shade right here. Gosh, I'm hoping that you guys can pick up how beautiful it is because I don't think, there we go. I don't think it was showing up, but now you can see it. And I would definitely buy more because I like them that much. Very budget friendly, beautiful formula. And this one is a beautiful shade. Okay. The next one that I have is from Physicians Formula. It's almost similar to the color pop as far as like the formula goes. This is the butter highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. It just has such a gorgeous finish and it looks so beautiful on the skin. It gives you a really healthy glow and it just has that kind of like almost wet look, but again, one with your skin. I don't know how to explain it, but it is a beautiful formula and I love this shade in particular, Rose Gold. I don't own any other butter highlighters. I don't know if they have any more, but I have this one and I love it. Okay, the next one that I have is a highlighter from Fenty Beauty. And gosh, the only reason why I have not finished this highlighter is because I just try to rotate through my makeup, but clearly you can tell that I love it. So this is what it looks like, I'm sure many if not all of you have seen the packaging this shade this is the kilowatt highlighter and it retails for 36 dollars the shade that i'm showing you right now is girl next door and chic freak and i mean hello i love it and it you would think that this shade is just kind of out there but when you mix both of them together they are I've worn both of them separately, both of them together. I really, really, really love this highlighter. So let me do a little swatchy swatch here. Those are the two shades. So this one's kind of like an icy pink and that's kind of like a light pink copper type of color. So I'm gonna swatch them on my hand. There you go. Very, very pigmented, 
long wearing and all of these are really, I mean, all of the ones that I'm showing you are pretty buildable. So that's that one. The newest one that I have from the Kilowatt highlighters is this one in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. And I just want to show you this one too, because it looks like, it almost looks like nothing in the pan. I mean, when I saw this, I was more attracted to this color for sure, but they're both like, this one gives you like that soft focus. This one's a little bit more of a bam kind of effect, but they are really beautiful together. So that is the Fenty, uh, the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighters. By the way, these are duos, and so you can also use them on your eyes. So they're not just highlighters, but they're dual purpose as well. You can use them as eyeshadow or an inner corner uh, shade or a highlight shade. So very good multi-purpose. I don't know why I did that. Okay, the next one is Charlotte Tilbury. This is the this is a beauty light wand in Pillow Talk. This retails for $38. It is a gel formula, and I know a lot of people complain about the packaging. Look, I can't do anything about the packaging. I'm just talking about highlighters I love, so I am not factoring in the fact that you have to like turn it or how much product do you get. I'm not talking any of that, okay? I'm just talking products I love, and this is a product that I love. And you just twist it and then give it a little squeeze, and the formula will come out, but it is so beautiful. It is my favorite cream. I say cream because it's a, it's not a powder, but my favorite cream highlighter whenever I am doing just a cream face, like a full face full of, what the heck am I trying to say? A face full of cream products. When I am not using any powder products on my face, this is my go-to highlighter for sure. So that's what it looks like right there. I would say it's kind of like a, um, I don't know how to describe it and I didn't pick up the description from the website, but it is a light kind of like rose gold, pinky champagne kind of color. And you can just see how beautiful it is on the skin. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit. So blendable and beautiful. Look at that. It gives a beautiful high shine finish and it just, Man, it makes your skin look so good. We are moving on to the last highlighter that I have to share with you guys. This is an old school highlighter. I have about five of these and I have not decluttered them because I really do like them. So is it my favorite formula in the world? Are there better formulas out there? Sure. But that doesn't take away from the fact that I still really love these highlighters and it is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. The uh, the shade that I have here is in Pink Quartz. By the way, it retails for $48. And the Pink Quartz is a warm pink. I just love this because it is, I love it for the opposite reason that I love the uh, Pillow Talk highlighter because it's, it's more buildable, just very kind of more on the natural, subtle side. So it doesn't have like as bam as a factor as other highlighters do but still really beautiful, very natural. If you're not looking for something that's just so out there that you need like, I don't know, other planets to see, then these would be a really great option. I know it's very expensive, but you can also use these as eyeshadows. You love the combination of the bronze and pink shades in here. And so I will do a swatch for you. So look at that. Oh, it's so pretty, so, so pretty. And that, let me do a better swatch. That was horrible. Girl, you've been doing this for a while. Why are you pretending like you don't know how to swatch? <laughs> it's still bad. Look at that, it went to my wrist. So those are my current top five highlighters. They're probably gonna be my favorites for a while because like I said, I don't buy highlighters a whole lot. So there you have it. Let me know what some of your favorite highlighters are down below in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support as always. I will link my Instagram account down below so that we can connect on Instagram. I hope you guys are having a great day or night and I'll see you very soon in another video.